Namaste. Good morning. We're having some morning coffee and it's an honor to cook on the net with you. We ain't even had breakfast yet, so I thought we were going to make some breakfast. And today we're making what is probably the fastest and also easiest uh, recipe for bread that I know about. So this is what manifested, manifested here on the counter. One kilo of uh, wheat flour, baking powder to... Oh, you can't see that. Oh, one kilo of wheat flour <laughs> and baking powder for one kilo and also shwing, table salt. Uh, so we also have water here, but you can't see it. It's over there. Water, yeah. Good stuff. So I put the oven on 200 degrees uh, and uh, I have one of these little fellas here who will help me uh, and uh, yeah, so we're starting. You take almost all of the flour, leave maybe less than a third, I would say. Uh, then open up the baking powder. And then take the salt. And uh, take as much salt as you think you like. It's individual. And then just uh, make sure to blend it around for a while. And you can also put whatever more things you want on this. This is just the, the like base recipe and uh, you can put anything in it. This is just to show you how easy it is. So now that is mixed. And now I don't know how much water I usually use because I just uh, pour in a bunch and then I see what happens and then I pour in some more or I put in some more flour. Uh, so now I have measured half a liter and I will see how much I'm using. This was almost two deciliters that I use now. And apparently we need more. and sticky and look much more like a dough than this is looking. You see, it's not a dough at all, it's just a chaos. Soon we will need to use our hands, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking some energy first. even more water. I didn't think I was using this much water. Now I took the full half liter of water and we see what will happen now. Now it's 
start to look more like a doe. Just use all your cosmic strength to get this going. Going. Get it flowing. Starts to look nice. And now, uh, I'm actually gonna, gonna start with the hand kneading. So take away spare stuff from this. This is food waste. It's not okay, but uh, but what don't you do for the art? So now I put some flour here and then I'm gonna try making a regular dough out of it. Old me for doing such a wonderful 
thing for new me. Mm, and this starts to feel really nice. Just trying to get as much flour into it as possible. So I'm just. You see this, right? Yes, you do. I'm pressing my thumbs into the middle, and now I'm gonna do the the folding. Because the more you fold, it's like a it's like a a a a a what's it called? Those cool swords. They're called ah Damascus steel. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it actually works like that, but uh, I guess if you fold this enough times, you get these cool nano structures that's 20 times harder than steel. Maybe not. Please comment if you know. But we get some nice patterns in here anyway. And those patterns you can remember later when you're eating the bread. So it's uh, it's for real, even if it's not nano tubes stronger than steel oh this looks so thick and nice now so I'm actually not gonna use all of this flour that I have left because I feel like I have gotten such a nice thing going here uh, but could I live with that? No, I couldn't live with that. So, I'm doing like this. I'm putting this in here and making it a part of the bread. And that will also be a part of the person who eats this bread if it's me or if it's someone else you can give your energy to people by letting them eating your food then you can build them it's really rewarding having people eating your food actually if you haven't tried, try it Shit. <laughs> this doesn't look as nice as it should look because it's not how you're actually supposed to do. I'm just trying to to put some water on a fire here. This is the chaos we're talking about. You see how it just falls out of it? <laughs> that is what happens when you improvise. It looks like a, a a falafel or something like a falafel in bread like the actual pita bread with something inside of it oh oh and that is not how a bread is supposed to look <laughs> look it's like the bread is eating me instead of I'm eating it. I could fix this with just more water 
Uh, but that is not what I want to do. Or do I? It's like maybe one deciliter. So maybe if we take half a deciliter, is this math enough? You guys. Blah. Some sauce on your falafel roll. Professional problem solving. It's not a problem solving, it's situation solving. Because it was never a problem, I was just doing this for <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is all stuff that will come back. You know, energy doesn't die, it just take another form and now the energy has a form of bread soon enough uh. Uh. and I think somebody said on the net sometime that if you if you need it too much like need it then uh, uh, maybe it's hard ah that's ah hmm hmm yeah so what I said earlier about carbon nanotubes maybe it's true maybe you could actually make a, a, a sword out of a bread if anyone has have tried that, please send me the link and I will watch it. Mm -mm -mm. Now this looks like I can be proud of it. I was proud of it all the time, but now it also looks Proudiness worth. <laughs> uh, so we are moving you guys so you can see this. Now I'm putting this down here and I'm gonna put it this way and then I just wanna form it so it'll be easier to, to eat later blum, 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 blum. Blum, 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 blum. Blum, 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 blum. it wouldn't stick on me as much if I just had some more flour but then it wouldn't be as easy to form so you have to make some sacrifices for your victories. Uh, and I think this looks really nice. I'm just gonna wash my hands really fast. Yeah, so now we're going to do some nice patterns on this because we like patterns. We're going to start with doing that thingy and then we're going to make some kind of symmetry for it here also. Then we're going to do middle thingy. And then we can do the 
Not so middle thingy. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna use some more force here. Just because I want to. Uh, And this is super important that you make these holes exactly like I do, because otherwise, uh, yeah, you don't want to know what happens otherwise, actually. It could be a really big problem, really big problem for you. So now I think this is ready, and the oven says it's ready, so... Joink! Now, we're gonna put it in. And we put it in, in somewhere around the middle, and it's gonna be there for... 15? 20? 30, 50 minutes, depending, when you see that it starts to get too, 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 too burnt on the, on the, on the top, then I usually just uh, drop the temperature, uh, but you can probably just have it on 150 degrees and have it like that for somewhere in between. Uh, yeah, uh, and most often I do different uh, sized batches, so it depends very much on if it's just if you make a small batch or if you make a super big batch. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna clean up here. You can't see that because uh, we already have a long video for you. Uh, but know that it will take as long time as it took to, 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 to cook, but we're baking. Uh, so, super nice to have you with me this morning.